All right, just heard from Judge Baki inside of the Boulder County Courthouse there where the end of the trial is here. The shooter has learned his fate. He is now facing life in prison without the possibility of parole after he was found guilty on all counts today. And of course, we have team coverage on this major day. Both Vicente Arenas and Kim Posey are in Boulder. We have reaction to that major verdict. I want to start with Vicente. He was in the courtroom when the verdict was read. All eyes were on the shooter, and I didn't see much reaction from him at all when this verdict came down. Vicente. Jeremy, what Alyssa Ahmad was doing in the courtroom this afternoon was pretty much what he had been doing throughout the trial itself. He was moving his head back and forth. He was looking down at the desk in front of him. At times it appeared as if though he was scribbling something, but he did not seem to be phased at all by what was happening in the courtroom, even while those verdicts were being read. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the reaction in the courtroom from the victim's family. Show you some vid video now of the day the shooting happened. This video played for the jury, of course. And today, as the video, as the verdicts were coming down, the family began crying. You could hear them quietly trying to hold back their emotions. They were hugging each other. They were wiping their eyes. They were looking around the courtroom to look at each other. And at times they were smiling through their tears. Such a, a horrible moment. But this is what they had hoped for. This is life sentence after life sentence after life sentence without the possibility of parole. It was just a very dramatic moment. And again, as I said, Alyssa being very non-responsive to what was happening in the courtroom. And then victim statements started shortly after that. The wife of Kevin Mahoney, who was killed, the, of Kevin Mahoney, he was killed in that grocery store, was one of the loved ones who spoke just a short while ago. I miss my husband and my two children miss their dad. On the day of the shooting, I worried that my daughter, who was six months pregnant at the time, would lose her baby. And after driving back from the CU event center that evening, my son was crying so hard, I thought our car was going to plunge into Veeley Lake. Such emotional testimony this afternoon, and we heard from several other family members this afternoon as they read those victim statements. And again, Alyssa did not seem to be phased by what was happening in the courtroom. His family was here earlier today. They also sat very still in the courtroom behind Alyssa. When they left, I did see that there were tears in their eyes, one brother wiping his face. And then there was also a victim who was a, a victim, a family member victim who was leaving the courtroom who said we did it. it. It was just a surreal moment this afternoon. This is what these family members had been hoping for and many of them saying today that they had done it. So this has come to a very fast end, just six hours that that jury deliberated. So a lot happening here this afternoon at the Boulder County Justice Center with the mass shooting trial. Reporting live, I'm Vicente Arenas, Fox 31. Yeah.